meeting to order. I'm grateful for mission. 1 p.m. September 21st, 2018. Stand for pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Roll call. John Winkfield's missing. Dale's here. Here. Mark's here. here. Sean's gone. Troy's here. Um, I think I'm gonna not talk about this courthouse hours and stuff till next meeting because John is the one that was kind of. Yeah. Carrying that ball. Okay. I was not here at the last meeting, of course. Is there any other additions or corrections to the agenda? Do we need the 19 budget on here? Um, our, um, uh, our public hearing is the next meeting. So I was just going to make sure that we were good for that. And well, we don't need it today, do we? Just was going to let you guys know that the meeting oh, was. Oh, I see. Yep, yep. <clears throat> Any additions or corrections? Uh, move to approve the agenda as presented. Second. Been moved by Dale, seconded by Mark to approve the agenda as correct, as amended. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Okay. Uh, look, take a look at the minutes from September 7th. <clears throat> Going on page three down there, it says there was discussion on reducing the speeding limit on, on County Road. It should just be the speed limit on county roads, I think. Okay, yep, trucks. yep. Speed limit on county roads. Okay, yep. Perfect. And of course, I wasn't here, but I didn't see anything else unless there's something material. Carol will be here at 2. Oh, he is coming today? Yeah. I just got well, We're not going to be here anymore by that time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to talk to us, you mean? Um, he said, in the area, we'll try to be there by 2. Don't wait for me. If not, there, when you're done, I'll come in October. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Anything else on the minutes? I, I didn't notice anything. I read to him. Make a motion to approve. Been moved by Mark. The reading. Been moved by Mark to approve the minutes as amended and dispense with the reading. Is there a second? One? Oh, second. Seconded by Dale. Is there any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed same sign. Okay, take a look at the bills. Um, we just have one that um, we got in the mail. Um, I received it from um, Derek last night um, just for Heartland Consulting for $814.38. <clears throat> the building repair one, is that the shop? Um, which one is that? $18,000. Oh, that's the truck. You guys brought took it out of no, the building repairs. Out of the building oh. fund for the okay. used small plow truck. Okay. What's 
the road equipment payment for 37477. That was the final lease payment, wasn't it? Part of the lease payment. Took some of it out of the because I still have thirty seven thousand left over in the, for the old ones, right? For, yeah, from the old ones. No, Is there's still money. You know, I budgeted one hundred and ten thousand, right. and then we paid the seventy four thousand, so there was still thirty seven thousand left in the heavy or uh, major equipment, yeah. and then the remainder of it was paid out of the gravel. 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 Okay. This for the new machine. This is the lease for the new machine. Okay. So that's our. In oh, that last payment on the old one was in June. Wasn't yeah, it? that was already. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions on the bills? Make a motion to approve. The move by Mark to approve approve the bills as pre presented with the addition of the DES invoice. Is there a second to the motion? Second. Seconded by Dale. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Any further discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. Dale? All right. Mark? Aye. Troy votes aye. Motion carried. When? I didn't have much, just uh, the truck and we made the payment on the first payment on the motor we got. Did now. you see these letters? In the part of the yeah. <clears throat> we got a new letter for uh, the funding from our federal aid program. Nine <laughs> miles of seal coat next year? Yeah, that's what we're going to try for is the seal coat for next year for exactly. the supplement. Okay. And it's October, first Tuesday, I think, in October is all my conferences. Samantha, or is that um, October, oh, I'm sorry. Seventh. Um. October 9th. Okay. October 7th to the 9th. So, yeah. yep. so the 8th, Monday, the 8th, meet with the DOT at right. around 10 o'clock, I think, or something like that. And that's when I'll request to uh, see if they can advance us uh, some fund, federal aid funds so we can go ahead with that chip seal project. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Up on that bridge, of course, that's the Decker Bridge. Right. So there was some transportation alternatives program. That's the uh, letter we get each year, and it's, it has to do with bike paths and stuff like that. If another community wants to do it, you need your approval, I think, to go ahead and try to get the funds, but it's a very competitive uh, amount of money is in. You're competing with the bigger cities and whatever, so pretty Bike hard, pack, walking pretty hard to get them. Yeah. Whatever they... We need a motion to approve this, or is this just information? That's just information. Okay. I don't know if anyone else is going to be in Bismarck on Monday, or I might try to be there if I can. We're not doing soybeans. Okay, that'd be good. I'll find out exactly the time. Okay. But I think uh, Paul said around ten or. So. Okay. He's got three different counties that are all together about that same time period. So Monday morning, and I'm going to be there for Monday, and then I think we'll leave because I think that's when they have. Uh, you talk about right away acquisition, right away on Monday. Yeah, it's going to be a good thing to uh, attend. 
Might just get an argument again. I don't know if I want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, uh, we've got the new cutting edges on, you know, those uh, carbides, and so far they really are wearing good. Um, I had to trim them, <laughs> you know. And uh, Matt has been up helping Jeff. Uh, they finished gravelling up at Binford this last week, so we're done gravelling for the year now. Jeff, they're helping them, trying to learn a little better sure, techniques sure. and stuff. So. Sure. Yeah, everybody does that a little different, probably. So we're going to uh, finish the seal crack sealing coming up this week. I purchased uh, 200 tons of sand from Fisher's Industries, and I got it down at the Isles Pit by Sibley. You probably know where that is. It's on the west side. So I have to move the lo loader down there and load that and all that. So because I'd ordered a truck of salt before. So. <coughs> the new truck, it new has, truck, it's got a different spinner on the back for salt. Yeah, Do we have to pick one up? Or? There, yeah, there's no spinner on the new truck, so I've got to pick one up. The truck has got a sanding body, so it's got a conveyor in the bottom. And I don't think we can haul my with it, but. Yeah, we give it a try. <laughs> But anyway, there wasn't any spinner motor or a disc on the back, so. But. I think uh, Gary was talking a little bit about maybe using it for asphalt, or he thought it would. Yeah, we'll be using it for both. You know. Yeah. It doesn't have any shoes on it right now, either, because it was on pavement. So yeah. We're going to have to come up with. But I mean, as far as the truck, uh, uh, sander. No, yeah, way the way that loads. Oh, they're going to use it for. Uh, they're talking about using it for pulling the the Dura patcher. Yeah, because you could just load the granite chips in the box, and then you'd have to make a little extension, and then it goes into a hopper that's on the instead of the whole Dura width. patcher instead of having, just a, yeah. So it'll be handy for that too, I think. Probably it's, if it's something we can use in the summer a little bit too, that'll be a yep. good use of a truck. Okay, <clears throat> anything else for land? That's it, give you a start date on your building. Uh, John, you did call them and uh, talking about like in the end of November, I think, mm -hmm. they Holy shit. Huh? Yeah, they're pushing as far out as they can. Yeah. We'll see. What uh what did they just what did we decide on the Benford building up there? Get a bid on it. Yeah, did we ever see anything? Oh I I was I called uh Cash and Carry yeah. and I said when they come up because John said they were gonna come up and remeasure the building, make sure they had all the measurements right before they ordered the steel for it and stuff. So then I said, uh, I'd like to have them come up and look at that building at Benford and see what they think and if they could give an estimate of what it would cost to put that extension on there. Yeah, didn't, there was nothing in the minutes about that I saw. But. Is there, uh, yep. there isn't a contractor in Benford or something that would be interested in doing this? Might be. Well, reach out to somebody. I know there's some people who have tried to get contractors, but they're yeah. either so booked up or they can. Okay. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> we just use that building for free? Yeah. I think it's our building. I don't know what the, what happened in the beginning of time. There's no record that says it's Griggs County's land. Who's it? You know, Who owns it? Uh, What's the city? There, there's no record, I don't think, that shows it. Oh, there has to be. I don't know, because uh, last year, Kenny uh, Gilbertson was wondering if there was any kind of documentation on it. Hello, Moto. Of who owned the lots? And, oh. So he asked here, and they couldn't find anything, so I, evidently they must not have any. 
record of it. Well, it has to be. I mean, it. <coughs> the lots are measured all. I think back, I don't know when it was put up there in the 40s or whatever, people were just happy to have a maintainer in their town, I think. I don't know. <coughs> but I mean, there has to be a chain of title on the real estate. If there was. If there was change title. Like you said, maybe they chain were. of title. Yeah. Well, there it was. It was deeded to somebody at some point, at some time. That might be just the city's property. You know? Well, the lot you know to the west of it is the city's because that was the fire hall at one time. That old building with the bell tower. And the oh, tower. sure. It used to be the fire hall. So I don't know. Hmm. I just assumed, I never thought there was no doubt, you know, that it wasn't ours, but... We well, probably checked on that before you split the money. <laughs> John said, just go ahead, he said. So then he did talk, he talked to Ken uh, Gilbertson, he talked to, because Lena Zedlin parks his buses right up as far from the back of the building, so... <clears throat> I don't know if he <laughs> thought he owned it, or... <laughs> Or the city has it and everybody uses it, or what? <laughs> I don't know. And then he, John had talked, said that maybe they could get a hundred year lease or whatever on. We could get well, it must have a parcel number. I think so. I'm well, asking Connie right now. Something or another. We There's should have another, record of that here. But anyway, off. we're not going to figure it out here. Nope. <clears throat> That's all I got. Okay. Thanks, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Yep, see you. <coughs> Need a plat of the city adventure. I know what lots those are. And have the Look in the recorder's yep. office. Yep. Hi, Mary. Hi, I brought my Bible again. Let's go. <laughs> well, hope you're Let's not get gonna, ready. Hope you're not going through the whole thing today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I got a whole hour ahead of schedule. What's your hurry? <laughs> so last time I was here, we had talked about with joining the district, how I had to spend down some funds, and I was asked to yep. put some numbers together. Here's the numbers. Um, so this is of our accounting balance, just in our department, not what Sam has, but our bookkeeping right now. And as of August 31st, we had 270, 473, 55. And then there's our expect, expected revenues and expected expenses through the end of December. And so our, and these are all estimated figures. So we're estimating at the end of December 30, the end of December on the 31st, that I will have approximately $181,000 in my account. We allowed for a $10,000 unexpected, um, unexpected expense, I guess. And then our $50,000 that we're allowed to carry over gives me a total of 121 that I would need to spend down. I wouldn't have to spend it all down, obviously, but just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like in our department. So if you go to the next page. So what's, what's What's the the auditor's books say the account balances are right now? Right now. Um, they can't be different. Well, they shouldn't be, but I think we found something in there that we couldn't figure out that one day, Sam. Did we ever figure that out? Um, which one? At the end of... My drive isn't working. Um. The 
balance you got left after your expenses here. It looks like to me you could just go buy the building on Main Street. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. At the end of August, um, in the CWB's fund is two hundred and seventy thousand four hundred and seventy three dollars and fifty five cents. Yeah, so yep. that's what we Same do. Same thing. That's oh, what we do. Yeah. Okay. We do a quick in and yeah. So sometimes there's we get bills that run through e that we have to wait for. You know. Yeah. Because we meet bi monthly, so sometimes we're off a little bit, but it it always averages out, or um, comes out equal. Okay. So, um. But we had some ideas on what we would like to spend down in the, the agency to get us whatever we don't um, have at $50,000 in our account as of the end of December is, is taken away from our um, next funding payment. So on page two, I have... Um, oh, she found it already? Oh. Sorry. That's okay. I just want to um, so on page two, I have what uh, you know estimate of what I can um, think in a spending, and I just if you look down, um, we talked about the time clock at forty percent. A forty-two percent is a um, Greg's County share. Computers. Um, I have a. It's in it's in your packet here. The last page is the estimate I got from TJ's. And he's got seven thousand three hundred and ninety. Um, I budgeted a little high just because I'm not sure what he's going to run into, but um, you know, getting these, these error on the high side versus the low side. The server at forty two percent came in at three thousand one hundred and sixty seven. The electronic sign in pad um, one hundred and thirty dollars. Vehicle I wasn't sure what to do on the vehicle, and I ran down this morning quickly and um, got an expense from, got a quote from Larry Grand Allen, and I can get a Dodge Durango, brand new Dodge Durango for 33.5. You don't need something handicap accessible? We can't, um, we don't haul clients. Mm. We're not authorized to haul clients in our vehicles. Oh. How come they bought a minivan? I think they were thinking foster care. There's been a lot of changes. Oh. So what happened is some counties, they offer what's called Medicaid transportation. So that means that if one of our clients had a doctor's appointment, we would pick them up, take them to their doctor's appointment back and we could charge for that. Then we would need a handicap accessible van. We don't do that. Liability, everything got. Is that one a handicap accessible? I don't think it is. It's no, I don't, I don't think, think it is. is. It's got two sliding door. Well, it's got one sliding door for sure. I guess Nelson. But it doesn't have a do. lift on it or anything. No, uh huh. Mm -hmm. No, no. And I think what they were thinking at the time was, if you had to remove children, you needed car seats. You needed to be able to get, you know, up to a family of four or whatever into a vehicle. So this um, Durango that I'm looking at has um, six passengers. Um, is it all wheel drive? Or yes, wheel drive? all wheel drive. Here's the here's the sticker, window sticker on it. So what basically it's um, sticker price is thirty nine eight twenty five. They're allowing a four thousand eight hundred twenty five trade in allowance for the van, and then there's a two thousand dollar incentive on top of that. And with shipping and, and fees, they're figuring right around thirty three five. For um, a vehicle, which I thought was pretty reasonable. I don't bad. And I didn't, you know, this is just bare minimum. This isn't big fancy bells and whistles and mm. things like that. It's just bare. So, maximum carryover is fifty thousand. <clears throat> so, if they, if there's more than that, then it doesn't have to go back to the state. No, or they'll they... just subtract it from our next payment. So, in essence, goes back, back to the state. <laughs> <laughs> they just take it away from us. Yeah. yeah. 
They don't right. write our check as big. So that's why I just figured if, and some of these things I'm looking at, like miscellaneous office supplies, and um, I had Jennifer type me up. If we would pay a two-year lease to Marco, there's another $4,800 for a two-year lease. Um, TJ's Because did, did we levy for social services no. for this no. year? No. This so is, this so is, none, of this is, is none of this is county money. Right. Why are we talking about it here? Because um, Sean asked me to come back here with an estimate of, I asked for spending authority above my approved budget for 19. Right. And he wanted me to come back with numbers, so here I am. Right. I'm amazed that the state leaves this decision in our hands when it's not our money. <laughs> but because because you guys approved my budget for 19 at, was it 325, 325? And if I make these expenditures, it's over my, the authority you gave me. So I have to come back to you and have you give me that authority to go over my 325, 325. We're still county employees, but for the for the pilot project, we're under a different funding pilot for two years, and it's confusing, I know. It took me a while to wrap my brain around all this, and I'm still working on it. Uh, what else do I have? So you want to spend $60,000, basically? Well, and that, again, that's an estimate. So probably that's probably on the high side. You know? Well, I subtracted six because of the vehicle sure. correction or whatever. I mean, you got a better number now than you had then. Yeah, exactly. Plus, if you look at that, there's one hundred twenty-one thousand dollars. So I'm looking to spend approximately half of it. All right. And it still won't get you to the fifty. No. Mm -mm. I mean, I, I would be happy to look at other areas I could prepay and get ahead to, whatever you guys tell me to do. It's a lot of reams of paper to stack in the <laughs> office. It is. We've done it. We've yeah. done it. We've got, like, in that one office, there's just cabinets that are empty. Uh -huh. So we stack stuff in there. I mean... It's hard, to get, hard to get rid of much money in office supplies. Yeah, yeah. We do the postage meter. Yeah, when it's... Three dollars a ring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. But do we, do we, we don't charge you anything for heat or anything like that in here or anything like that? Um, that's that supposed to be part space. of the countywide cost allocation. That is two okay. years behind, and because two years ago they were in that other office building, yep. so that's going to take two years to catch up. Okay. But you do get that part back once Abacus. This comes back in. That should be part of that. Is there anything that you're not paying that somebody else does, or is? I don't understand the whole cost allocation thing. So I've tried to get them to come in and speak with you guys because I know that there was some questions a few or last year or maybe two years ago, and they won't return my phone call now. <laughs> they won't come. Um, so I've still been trying to get a hold of them, but. What were you mean to them to start off? Well, we just. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just asked them if they would come in and explain why we didn't get any funding, you know, from a few years ago because we haven't been receiving any of those funds. And and I know you guys had a question about, you know, you got um, social services is still utilizing my office, whether they're in the same building or not. Why wouldn't we get some mm -hmm. funds back? And I can't get them to come in and. And talk to us so well I know it has something to do with and I don't I didn't really get I couldn't really figure it all out but when I asked what was different two years ago versus now it was that they had their own building so they weren't paying rent now we're back here it's a separate I mean we're not mm -hmm. we're not our own building so then it takes two years for that countywide cost allocation funds to trickle down to us so, what, March should be our second year then? March of 19? Yep. So hopefully by then you should start. Yeah, I didn't And then really you'll understand. see it from 17, but you won't get any from 18 and 19 because we're under the pilot project now. 
if I understand it correctly. Yeah, something. <laughs> I don't understand it all, so I was wanting somebody to come and explain it, but yeah, I can't get a hold of anybody now. That surprises me because don't they have to do it every couple of years? They have to do it every year. They contact oh, us for year. yeah, they contact us for information, but they won't return <laughs> and I request them to come here. Hmm. So they don't actually come here. They call you, you give them the information. Yep. Don't give it to them next time. Tell them they gotta come and get it. <laughs> so your board chair has that information while you call him? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean that <clears throat> the county was making loan payments on that building over uptown. It's not like there wasn't a cost. I don't get it. I don't understand how that works either. I just know that was what, because when I sat down and tried to figure it out, what was the big difference? And that was it. They were in their separate building. So I don't know. Um, when I compared Nelson and Griggs together, Nelson County would get office in lieu of rent, or space in lieu of rent monies into the general fund. Huh. But we've always been in the courthouse. That's what I can, my little detective, my little Nancy Drew hat is what I figured out with that. And what difference would that make? Because the, the county was given us, the county and Nel Nelson County commissioners give us office space in lieu of rent. Okay. And then when it comes back to, like we get reimbursed for the programs that we do, every um, SNAP case we work, every um, mm -hmm. Medicaid, non-Medicaid, all that we get reimbursed, or the county gets reimbursed, and all of that money does not go into the social service fund. A portion of it goes into social service fund, and a portion of it goes back into the county general. So, and they take things into consideration like heat, lights, operating expenses, and that's how they figure out the portion, I believe. And then before, when they were in that office building, they were paying their own heat and lights and all that, so it wasn't like an in-kind from the county. Oh, Social sure. Services was paying. Right. Okay. So they're not really paying us for the office space, per se, just operating expenses. God, and I'm not sure what their formula all is. And, I know they, and when I know when they were over in that other building that they carved all that out of the county and put it in the Social Services budget, so. Yeah, and I'm not sure what happened before I got here, so. Okay. So that's, I mean, is there any other questions on things I have in here? I quickly hit through Marco was roughly for two years would be forty, um, $4,800. I had a price in here from Travis. He was roughly um, yearly about thirty five seventy seven to maintain the server. Um, he said that would be a reoccurring cost yearly. So if I could get him prepaid, um, those are kind of some things I'm looking at to get ahead of to spend that money down on. And then the next one is just talks about our projected um, budgeted expense items that we are anticipating as far as what we have budgeted. Do you need a motion to do this? Yeah. I need a motion to. I so move. Could move by Mark to approve social services request to exceed their May 2018 budget. Is there a second? Second. Second by Dale. Is there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. Dale? Aye. Mark? Aye. Try vote aye. Okay. Any other question or anything for me? No, no. Okay. Thank you guys. Yep, thank, thank you, you for coming. Good thing you were good or I'd have to read this whole Bible to you. <laughs> <laughs> Might fall asleep. <laughs> no, it's riveting stuff. Yeah. I saved that for Sunday. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Yeah.
2019 budget? Uh, 2019 budget, um, just wanting to make sure that everything was okay for you guys. Our um, public hearing will be on October 5th um, at 6 o'clock. Um, and so then that'll be when you guys would then approve the budget, just wanting to make sure that everything was okay for you guys. And that there was no questions or anything that you guys see and just wanting to keep ahead of it all. Okay. Plan for the six o'clock on October 5th. State Fair Delegate, you guys, we took care of that. At all. I think that was, I was at that meeting on there. State Fair? Did you go? Because Kelly Hansen usually is our delegate. He is again, right? Yep, yep. If you guys wish to have him. Um, we did call him and he said that he would attend for us and continue to mm. be our delegate. So this was not done yet? No, no. Okay. So I just need your signature on this letter if you so want him to be the delegate again. Make motion to have Kelly Hansen as our delegate to the state fair. The move by Mark to appoint <clears throat> Kelly Hansen as our state fair delegate is our second to the motion. Second. Seconded by Dale. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Did you guys read this historical society thing? Mm -hmm. So, do we want to have Jamie re get some of the answer? You know, like what does it cost in order to do some of this stuff? Investigate to see what would have to be done. Let's. I would like how much of this needs to be done. It's just possible mitigation. Does all of it have to be done or just. Right. Yeah, these are just recommendations. Well, somebody needs to tell us what what's adequate to, yeah. for the mitigation. All of that, or one of them, or yeah, it doesn't really say. It just says possible mitigation. So is it? any one of those items or or do you have to do all of them or three of them or yeah. we're going to have to go out there at some point in time or have them come here or some or have a talk and see what happens probably and uh Let's table it till next meeting. Me, uh, I'd like to think about who's on the our, our historical county board that would possibly be willing to document some of this stuff and see what we can use down there and see what we can make happen. Might be an easier transition. Who's on that board? You know. I am Todd Edlin's chairman, um, Jan Steffen, secretary, I believe, 
Uh, Bev Tramby is on it. Um, uh, Gene Logie? Huh? <coughs> is Gene Logie on there? Maybe not. I, I know I he just so. he's a history buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Elwood Olson. So. <coughs> Bailey's. <coughs> and Katie. <coughs> so there's people. Or if you were going to investigate something, want to know? Uh, Katie Bailey is really good. <laughs> well, I don't know her. Would be, if she's healthy <coughs> enough and willing. Elwood, Scott, Beverly, Jan, Katie, Bailey, Marty, Todd, Mark, Lowell, Vernon, Phyllis, and Dennis. Yeah. So let me look into that a little bit, and I'll. Can I can I show this in le this letter? Absolutely. And. You know, I think they'll be having a fall meeting here. Okay. And we'll work our way through this. Okay. We'll talk about it again. Okay. Um, you guys also budgeted money. Um, it was kind of a wash, so it's kind of a wash. Because um, we did budget for um, this court facilities grant on both sides of the revenue and on the expenses but there was more on the expense side so that's going to be a discrepancy in the budget because we didn't get it we did not accept oh we didn't get the grant mm -mm. no i see also we also have here about courthouse handicap parking do you want to get into that now or <clears throat> well, that I saw that email, but that that's nothing that we can do anything. But that's just the law, isn't it? Somebody needs to paint some blues and yeah. dots out there. Yep. 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 Is there a minimum number based on the occupancy of the building, or I mean, who knows how? Is that a Jamie deal? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the rules are. Yeah. When it comes time to paint it, I know the city's got a stencil. Do they? So if the if the county, maybe the guys can. Do they have a who paints the lines on our highways in the county? On our. Do we put the line in, or do we no, have no, the state no, no, come? No, no, no. The state doesn't do it either. The state, uh, J and J striping in Carrington. There's different people. You know, we had that group that came to the church. That was, Jim, that was, that was Jim Sherman. You know, so when he, <coughs> when they, because we're going to be striping, I suppose, next year, chip after we chip seal, if we can get that to go. Then we could have him come maybe and do the lines we need to do here, and maybe could make all that. Well, he needed to use a different outfit for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Just like they did in the parking lot. At the, I don't even know what he had there. I, I don't know either. I wasn't down there. I think he came with the truck, but he just has a hose deal that he can hook up to it. He didn't like he drove, but I mean he can manually go. I thought he maybe had a something you pull a cart you pushed or something. I don't know. <coughs> I don't know. The stuff that they use on the highway are big trucks. Yeah. Yeah. And they get, I mean they're But it's a different paint than what we you know, just a house. Well paint. the highway paint is different. I mean that's yeah. glass beads and it's a it's a formulation and they put on so many pounds of paint per mile. Oh. So they got their scales on those trucks. It's a it's a different deal because when he buys he buys semi loads of paint and semi loads of glass beads. Oh. Do you want me to contact Jamie about that or how? Yeah. They're, they're, I don't think that you don't just get to do whatever you want. No, the American with Disabilities Act must cover it. <coughs> yeah. Somebody, or the Century Code, or something. Yeah. Or do you just have to have access, or do you have to, like you say, you have to have so many? I suppose the worst time is during court. 
That's when we have the most people here, probably. Yeah. Election. Oh, yeah, election's probably one of the biggest, too. Most and now that the election's here, but yeah. we it is like the handicap ramp and stuff like yep, that is all there. So. Kind of but during the but during election, we do have handicap signs that we put up, but they, I mean, they tumble over. Sure. Yeah. So we could put those up for the time being until. So how about this? Dig the drawings out from the courthouse and see what they had planned for handicap parking. That sure. must be what it needs to be. Okay. The architect must have known that. Well, I would hope so. Right. Yeah. So yeah. maybe maybe it's already drawn out somewhere. Yeah. Do you want to check on that? Absolutely. Okay. Like I say, I know the city's got a stencil. Just plop it on there, as on the cement, and spray it. Um, also, I didn't hear from Brian, but I did hear that Brian went into the old courthouse and put some more antifreeze through the oh. um, system um, and took a look around. I think you fixed that downspout. I yeah. kind of saw you that said too. Plastic. Yeah. So that, if you guys wanted anything else done, that's. Yeah. Kind of what well, I think they, they we're going to have to do. I see there's a bunch of weeds growing up in the step. I don't know if you took care of it or not, but we should probably spray them or something. Kill them on the front of the step. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't know if he does he weed whack around or does he just spray Roundup or what do we do? You know, I'm not really entirely sure what he does. I know what I'd be doing. But <laughs> but if he wanted to spray those weeds over there, that sort of thing. Um, also, we had a little critter in this courthouse. So I did call a gentleman, and we have traps in the back here. Um, the guy will um, come and maintenance those um, quarterly. Um, so I guess that wasn't the first one that's been caught in here. So we're going to try and... Maybe he doesn't need a cap. <laughs> I, got I talked to Brian a little more, and, and he, he talked to me, I guess, about it. He said that, I guess, the, where they run wiring in, it's just open. They just had a hole really? and run wire in. So he had he he put some foam in there to close it up and seal all seal a whole bunch of cracks on the north side here. He said where they ran wire in or whatever. He said to, for uh, I don't know what it was. You'd think it'd all be in conduit or whatever, but I thought it was. Yeah, but he said it was just open. He said you could. Look in there and you seal all the ways, he said. So he sealed it up with some stuff and hopefully he figured out where, well, and he said even cracks in the foundation. And he sealed those up too, he said. So hopefully we're done with that. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that speeds people up when they see a mouse run by. <laughs> oh, that slowed them down there. <laughs> he saw it and. It was in the EOC part, so, and I guess that mouse was not scared at all. It was running across the desks and up on wires and... You can do a lot of damage if they get in. Yeah. 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 Get in the server and decide to have a taste for insulation. <laughs> yeah. And that'd be something. Get in this room. Mm -hmm. Oof. <clears throat> Otherwise, old courthouse, nobody's, Brian didn't say anything, everything looks the same. Yep. Yep. Is any of the stuff, I mean, is there anything that we could put on a sale, or is there anything that's worth putting on a sale in there? You know, some of the, you know, we talked last time about some of the air conditioners or whatever. Yeah. Is there other things? Is there filing cabinets that aren't being used over there? Um, I do know that there's a few things of the, I think the recorder still has a few things in her vault. Um, and I know that there's some books downstairs, um, that basically we're hoping that either the historical society is mm -hmm. going to take or, 
or they're garbage. Um, if anybody's interested in them, they're in the basement, and I guess they're like just covered in mold now. But I don't, I don't know how much other stuff is over there. The superintendent of schools has some stuff over there, some filing cabinets that didn't need to come over here. But okay, that's about because there's stuff if we could get rid of. We might as well get rid of it. Right. Or something. Or somebody could use it. Or I know that there's uh, quite a bit of stuff upstairs in the attic that's old. I don't know if, know. you know, antique stuff. I'm not sure. I'm just, so when Megan, I would go up to the tower, it would. Megan mentioned to me that there's there's old 4-H pictures in there that, for whatever reason, they kept. It. So, I think uh, for a uh, Historical Society probably like some of those that they yeah. decided what they're going to do with those. Yeah, I talked to Jan about a few of the books that we've brought over that we don't need to keep anymore, yeah. so yeah. we might as well just start getting rid of them if we can. So, And the State Historical Society has already been here. They don't, they've taken what they want, so it's... Oh, okay. As far as I know, they well, Kelly has a whole, <clears throat> isn't a whole bunch of the recorder stuff still over there? I think so. Oh. I think she was going to coordinate with the road crew to get her stuff moved over. Does she have a place to put it? I think so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that'd be good. Sometime this winter. I think the... Things slow down. Well... There might be an issue with I mean, maybe it doesn't matter if nobody knows about it, but I think that stuff's supposed to be stored in a vault. Yeah. We don't yeah. Have, there's no vaults that's in this building. Saying. And that's the commission's responsibility to make sure that that stuff is... Yep. Yep. Protected. In a secured location. Yeah. But it's, it's all digitized, Digitized. I think. Yeah. I think they're working on that yet, aren't they? Indexing. Indexing it? It's all digitized. It's just not organized. And I don't know <clears throat> what they're, if they're doing anything or not. There hasn't been anything done since I got on the commission, I don't think. <laughs> not much. Aren't they waiting their turn to get... They were waiting. They were behind Cass County, I think, and but I don't know where they stand lately. I noticed Nelson County goes back get back to the 70s now I was looking at something the other day up there hmm. newer as stuff comes in it's indexed or ready to go is that available online the new stuff's all out there okay you have to get on that Andrew Andrew it's twenty five dollars a month. When you get it all done, some counties post that on their website. Is that something that will be available when we get it all put together? Post what? All that stuff's available on some counties' websites. I think. I've never seen it. You mean all the? No, the the tax records. I guess the individual parcels. I don't know if we're we're not set up that way yet. I thought we were. I thought Ron pushed for that to get on there. Yeah, you go on to, if you go to Northern Plains News, you can go. You can go find that. Yeah, but I don't know about our website. Not on the county's website. Yeah, I know it's on Ron's. Take a break and wait for Harold, or do you want to have him come next time? He can come next time. I guess I don't have any questions for him at this. Okay. Do you want him to come at all, or are you guys okay with just going through the information that was sent to you? I guess that's another question. I didn't see anything in there that. You know, I didn't see anything that stuck out. We need to approve it, yeah, right? Right. Yep. Well, one thing, I, I'd like that thing to be done the 1st of June. 
instead of the first of October. Um, a lot of the holdup is um, Dave at the with the fair board stuff. He usually doesn't get us his information till late, and that's Harold waits for his information. We contact Dave pretty early in the year, and he's busy with tax stuff, so he doesn't put us on the top of his list regularly. That was the holdup this year. Maybe the fair board should find somebody else. Who's Dave? Nothing else? Motion to adjourn. Second. Moved by Dale to adjourn. Seconded by Mark. All in favor say aye. 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 Both the same time. Motion carries. Meeting adjourned. Next meeting will be Friday, October 5th at 1 p.m.